Okay, so here we have a MOBI project which has some electron microscopy data of yeast coming from the Chandra et al. paper of 2020. It has this large 2D EM overview image where you can see lots of individual yeast. And it also has two example tomograms. So if I just add one of these, then move over and zoom in, you can see that these tomograms are much higher resolution EM data. And also if I scroll in Z, you can appreciate that they are 3D images as well. So this is one of them. Let's add the other tomogram and just hide this other one. And here again, you can see it's high resolution EM and it is 3D. So if I click on this F button, I can now zoom out again and focus on the overview. And our goal is we want to be able to register these smaller tomograms to their correct location in this larger overview. And in Mobi, there's two different ways to do image registration that are directly integrated. So let's start with the 27 tomogram. So I'm going to show that one and hide this one. And if I right click in the viewer, I can open up this menu. And here we see the two different registration options. I'll show both, but we can start with the registration manual option. And this uses transformation tools that are already built into Big Data Viewer. So if I click on it, you'll see that it gives you this list of instructions on how to do this. I'm going to show it, so I'll just close this and do the process. But this is here for your reference, just so that you know. So I can click OK. Now I can ho hover over the right hand side, click this blue arrow to open up this side menu. And here we see a list of the currently shown sources. So this is our EM overview. Then we have the 27 tomogram and the 29 tomogram. And what we have to make sure is that the one that we want to move is our current source. So we want to move this 27 tomogram. So we have to click the button next to the 27 tomogram. Now what we can do is we can click T on the keyboard to start the transformation. And now we can use the normal keyboard shortcuts and mouse presses and so on that we would use to navigate in Big Data Viewer to transform the source. So here I'm just using the middle mouse button that, I'd, uh, that I would normally use to pan to move the source. And I know that it comes from somewhere around here. And then I'll click T to finish the transformation. And now I can zoom in. And you see it's a bit hard to see what's going on here. And this is because of the current blending mode that's being used. It's trying to combine the intensities of those two EM images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again and go to set blending mode and change this to some occluding. And that will make sure that the tomogram is displayed on top of the overview, which will make it a lot easier to see. So now I click OK, and you can see, now we can see what's going on. OK, so it's close, but it's not quite there. So I'm going to click T again, and again, use the middle mouse button to drag it and get it as close as possible to where it should be. So something like this is about right. So we can leave that there. And I'll click T again to finish the transformation. So that's how the manual registration works. The other option we have is Big Warp integration. So let's show the other tomogram. And we can right click and go to this registration Big Warp. So Big Warp is an existing registration Fiji plugin written by John Bogovich. And we have direct integration into that from Mobi. So if I click this registration Big Warp, it will open up this menu here. And in this menu, we have to choose our fixed source and our moving source. So the moving one is the one that we want to move, <laughs> unsurprisingly. And we can go and find that. So we want to move this tomogram onto the overview. So in this case, our moving source, if we open these menus, is this 29 tomogram. And our fixed source, the one that we want to put it on top of, is this EM overview. Then we can click OK. And that will open Big Warp. So if you've ever used Big Warp, this is, uh, it'll work exactly as it would normally. Uh, we have these two windows, which I'll just make a bit bigger here, make it a bit easier to see. The left window shows your moving image, which in our case is this tomogram. And you can see it says moving at the top here. The other window shows the fixed image, which is our EM overview. And how Big Warp works is you have to place corresponding points on features that are the same. So, I know that this comes from around here. So what we need to do is we need to place some points on these two images in order to match them together. Now to place points, you press the space bar, which gives you this crosshair, and then you just click on the image. So I'm going to click, for example, here, and then on the corresponding place over here. 
I'm also going to click, for example, on this black dot, and that is this black dot here. And also this one, why not? And where else? Maybe this spot here. If you're doing this for real, you try and be as careful as possible with placing your points. And also, if you had two 3D images, you try and make sure that you're putting points on multiple different Z planes and not all in one plane. But in our case, we're registering to a 2D image and this will be fine for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we have these four points. Now we want to see, does this match it together nicely? And in order to do this, we first need to look at what transformation we want to use. So we can click the F2 button to bring up this menu. And here you can choose what kind of transformation you want to do. In this case, because they're both EM images of exactly the same sample, I'm just going to use rotation, which will let it just translate and rotate the images, which should be sufficient for this. So I can just cross this off. And now I can click T to transform and then F to fuse them together so I can see them on top of each other. And we can see how good this is. So I'm just opening up this side menu again. And I find the easiest way to do this comparison is to change out of this fused and go down to single. And now I can swap between them by clicking these buttons. So I can swap back and forth. And I can see that this is pretty close. So for demonstration purposes, this is fine. If it was a real one, you take more time and put your points as close as possible. Okay, so we're happy with this. We want to export this. What we do is we come down to this menu here and we click OK to close Big Warp and apply the current registration in Mobi. And we see here that it has taken that registration. It's moved our tomogram from its place up here to the correct location. So now I'm going to zoom in. And again, I'm going to change the blending mode so it's a bit easier to see what's going on. And there we go. We see our two registered images in the correct place. So once you're happy with your registration, in order to save it so that it will come up the next time you open the project, you have to make a new view. And a view will save everything about which images you have open and these registrations and so on. So to do this, you just right click in the viewer, say save current view, save as new view and project. You leave that just as it is. And then you give it some name. So I'm just going to call it registered. You choose what drop down menu to put it in. So I'm just going to put it in the bookmark drop down menu. And the rest you can just leave as it is. You click OK. You see down here it has made this new view. So now if I remove everything and I go and I find that view, here it is, and I click View, you'll see it brings back all of the images that I was just showing and it shows us our registration. So those are the two main ways to do the registration. There's the manual method and then also integration with Big Warp.